not that love energy that was there that felt like the heart of God. It felt like going back and standing in the middle of the heart of God. Even though you believe someone is dead, that they can still hear you, they still know what's written on your heart, and that's important to remember. And in that moment, I remembered that my soul chose to come to Earth. I remembered where I was before I was born. I remembered that all of our souls choose to come here, that this is a wonderful university, that we're not here by random accident, we're not here as victims, that we come here to choose, to study, to learn, and to grow. It was like I was in this cosmic ocean, and I was a drop in this ocean. We not only get to look at what we've done, we get to feel what we felt, and we get to feel how our behavior affected others. What I remember is not the answers. I don't know of anyone who's brought back all of the answers. I don't think we're allowed to. But I remember that I knew this, and I said, oh, Yes, of course. I already knew that. How could I have ever forgotten? And here are some of the things I've learned from this. Your priorities change because you realize that the most important thing is love. The only thing is love. That's really the only thing there is. Except sometimes it's expressed as fear, the opposite side of it. And all that petty stuff doesn't matter. It's like you tap into the universal database that any information greater than the internet was right there for me to know simply by looking. We all know that we came back with a mission. Most of us don't know what it was at the time, but we know we had one. And you spend a lot of time trying to figure out what that was. I get to recall and relive every experience, even when I teased that girl in junior high because she talked with a lisp and she was big and fat. And I not only recalled what I said, I get to feel what she felt like because of the way I behaved. And I felt so bad and ashamed. God's response was again, neither good nor bad. I lost the perfect knowledge as we all do, but I know that life continues, that we are loved, and I also had the gift of seeing this love and light all around in everything and everyone, and I believe that is what is really true. There's a divine plan for Earth. There's a reason for being here. Now I think my mission, and everybody's mission, is to be here in three dimensions in this time and this space and to hold the energy of the light of God. Just hold it. We don't have to do anything. Just hold that energy. And as we hold it, we help other people around us find that energy and feel that energy. You are always here if you would only know it. Every one of us is always connected to and one with our source if we can get beyond our mind. Humanity is changing. Humanity is evolving. And this is the time. And all you have to remember is there is nothing out there to fear. You are a divine, powerful being. We all are. We're all part of God. We're all part of love. That's who we are. We are the heart of God. And we're here to bring that to planet Earth, to create heaven on Earth. And we can do it in love. That's why we're here. We've just had an opportunity to connect with our source and learn that this life that we live is an opportunity that is in giving to others that we receive and become more valuable. Not what we get and have, but what we give. Being in the light was being in unconditional love. Unconditional love means unconditional forgiveness. Unconditional forgiveness 
causes you to smile forever. That's the story, folks.